Welcome to the astrology for the week of January 21st, 2013. As the Sun and Mercury move through Aquarius, the connection to Jupiter in Gemini becomes important simply because it combines the like energy of fellow air signs. Aquarius and Gemini operate within the cerebral realm and raise the conversation to all things intellectual. This is a real conversation about brains, literally. With Aquarius as the predominant sign, we can expect larger humanitarian ideals to come forth, especially as a big, bold Leo full moon appears lighting the sky late in the week. Responsibility and duty remain important global themes as Saturn holds our deeds and goals to the highest point while in the deeply intense sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is about intensity and this is serious. Saturn in Scorpio brings out secrets and flushes away that which is tawdry, illegal, and has an unsavory characteristic to it. Fixed signs, such as Scorpio and Aquarius, have little room for flexibility, so we can expect the terms to be strict between Saturn and the Sun and Mercury. With Uranus now in direct motion since the, end of since the middle of December, and Jupiter soon joining the same direction around the end of January, we can expect to see some substantial progress. Jupiter always brings with it a theme of optimism, expansion, and general good fortune. Do the skies get brighter as a result? Well, with Venus on track to be in a harmonious angle to Jupiter, we can expect to see tangible brightness. It usually is the case when we see this sort of alignment. As with any project, when we begin to witness the fruits of our labels, we can't, labors, we cannot help but be fulfilled and rewarded. And because Jupiter and Uranus are in friendly alignment to each other, they are in a sextile, 60 degrees apart, we can expect, expect surprises to follow that tend to be expansive and progressive. Good news. In other words, in other words, we have good news coming our way. Progress does come at a cost, and quite often very slowly. But when it does appear, we are collectively grateful. Always, the, the, simply seems to be the case. True astrology comes from accuracy, birth date, birth place, birth time. You know the routine. Those are the details of your chart. Your instructions are all there and always will be there. Your ability to understand them and embrace them is up to you. That's where free will comes in. The stars are there. The aspects are in your chart. Your ability to entertain them and, and, and pick them up and go with them is up to you. I have a radio show every Saturday morning at 11 o'clock called Turning of the Wheel. I where I discuss astrology, art, and spiritual adventure. And I have a website, www.chrisflusher.com or turningthewheel.com. And you can contact me at chris at chrisflusher.com. And until then, I will see you next week.